So what we have here today is a vaulted ceiling. This is where the ceiling is flat and then it slopes down. We call that a vault. I'm gonna show you how to find this angle right here. I call this a peak because it's the highest point of the vault. Now the first thing I always do, and it's, if you don't have one of these, you probably need to get one, but um, you wanna use an angle finder. You wanna take that angle finder, push it up into place, and to get an accurate reading on this, you wanna center your angle finder center on this angle here, and then push the rulers out on the left and right side. Once you're in that position, you can tighten it down so you can read it without changing the angle. And you can see mine is 30.5. So that 0.5 really isn't gonna make a difference. I'm just gonna call this 30 degrees and split that in half and that'll give me 15. Cause that 0.5, when you're on the miter saw outside and you're trying to dial in a 0.5 and split a 0.5 in half, it's not even worth it. You'll still get the same clean cut we're just making each side 15. So once I'm at this point, I know that it's 15 degrees on each side to equal that 30. I'll cut two sample pieces. And I've already got those cut right here. This is a 15 degree miter right here. And then another 15 degree miter right here. And I'll actually hold these up to make sure that they match. But before I do that, it's very important to make sure that you know how far your crown drops down. I call this the drop. How far does your particular crown, they're all different, how far does it come down on the wall from the ceiling? So from the ceiling down on the wall, I know mine comes down about three and three eighths of an inch. And you can see I've already marked that. So I've got that marked and I know where my crown needs to be. So back to these sample pieces, what I'll do is I'll hold these up in place and make sure they're good to go. And I'm on that pencil line. So I know I'm gonna have a nice clean miter right here on this peak. And it's that simple to find a peak. Once you're in that position, you wanna make sure you're steady there. Hold it in position there. Then I'll actually remove my right hand and I'll make a pencil line while keeping my left hand in place. And you'll see right there, that's my pencil line. And that line tells me how long this piece needs to be. That's to my right here. And then also how long this piece to my left needs to be. I'll get a measurement on those, 15 degrees each side, and I'll have a perfect angle every time.